Hunting is a tradition. It's a legacy passed down from one generation to another. And that's the reason why I'm here and why I have the absolute privilege of hunting the majestic bulls of the Mount Dutton unit. Growing up packing into the backcountry with my dad, hunting public land, we're doing that here again. This is my heritage. This is how I grew up. This is how I was raised. And to be able to have that type of rich heritage in this hunt, along with the opportunity of a trophy of a lifetime, is something that I never imagined happening. This is a special opportunity. It's an opportunity that comes once in a lifetime where I can hunt this mountain and I can hunt it with my rifle right now. And if I don't find the bull I'm looking for, I have the opportunity to come back in November again and try to find that special bull. Not too bad first light, and we've got a herd of elk spotted in the scope, and uh, unfortunately, it's a nice five by five yeah. bull, real, not real nice bull. bull. Yeah. Not quite what we're here for. No, so. we're we're here for the big one. Yeah, so but it's good, good to start off that way. Let's see if we can get out and find stretch the legs on these mules, and see if we can find us another one. Yeah. We've got this nice bull spotted this morning. It's our second bull we've got on. He's a nice bull, and I mean, I feel, I'm really torn right now. I gotta be really honest with you. This is, I've never had an opportunity to hunt like this, and it's real emotional up and down to walk away from this right now. I gotta tell you, I'm getting a big gut check, and it's tough. It's yeah. tough to walk from. Yeah, I'm sense. obviously not a guy for, that has to kill big bulls, but you only get an opportunity like this once in a lifetime. Oh, I see him. That's a big bull. His body's huge. Hunting is hard work. In this unit, I'm experiencing things that I've never thought I would experience. 
What's been hard for me on this hunt mentally is wrapping my mind around passing on bulls that are trophies in my book and in many hunters' books. These bulls that are in the Dutton are managed as a trophy unit and the size and the numbers are here. For me to pass on a 320 or 330 inch bull is something that I, I never dreamed that I would be doing and this has been an emotional high and low for me. We're, we're leaving a legacy for the next generation. By me passing on these 300 inch bulls, I am now creating a legacy that in two, three, four, or five years down the road, another hunter is going to step foot on the Dutton and they're going to have an opportunity to harvest a mature bull that is going to have that time to grow. He's going to have that time to get some age on him. And that's what it takes to get big bulls is they have to have some age. And, and here, in a way, you know, me doing this hunt and, and looking for that old age class of bull, it's not just about the trophy, it's also about given a chance for the younger bulls to grow up. Is he a shooter? Nope. <sighs> that bull just got a huge hole pass because I had my safety off. One of the tamer. <laughs> ready. Perfect range. He was done. Yeah, locked. I was like ready. All he had to do was be. If he had some fists, I'd let you whack him. He had a big old heavy stall, giant front end. Yeah, he was a pretty bull. Walking away from the Dutton and from all of the beautiful bulls that I encountered made for many restless nights just thinking about finishing my quest. The change of season, it marked my opportunity to return in pursuit of that one special bull. Oh. Oh. He's down. He's down, Christy. He's down. I mean, I just feel privileged to be on the mountain here, and I feel privileged, privileged to hunt with this group of guys ever again. The battle-worn bull was broken and weary from the rut. Passing on younger, more vital bulls left a legacy for the next hunters who searched the Dutton for their special bull. The friendships forged and memories created on this hunt will last a lifetime. <laughs>